हेलो एवरीवन आई एम दत्तात्रेय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंदा न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड अवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज सेफ्टी इंटीग्रिटी लेवल सिल पार्ट ट्वेंटी बी दिस इज अ कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ अ प्रीवियस वीडियो विच आर गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट इन अ सीरीज एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज विजिट टू अवर चैनल ई फंडा एंड वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज क्रिएटेड रिलेटेड द वेरियस टॉपिक्स ऑफ फंडामेंटल इंजीनियरिंग टेक्निकल कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग प्रोक्योरमेंट इंजीनियरिंग प्रोजेक्ट एंड करियर इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इंजीनियरिंग एंड डिलेवरेबल्स एंड मेनी मोर एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल टू गेट लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशन ऑन अपलोड ऑफ अवर न्यू वीडियो ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा सो लेट्स बिगेन विथ टूडेज टॉपिक दैट इज अ सेफ्टी इंटीग्रिटी लेवल सील पार्ट ट्वेंटी बी एज मैंशन अर्लियर फंक्शनल सेफ्टी एंड सेफ्टी इंस्ट्रूमेंटेड सिस्टम सिस are presenting in parts safety instrumented system sis part 20 which is already published safety life cycle part 20a which is already published safety integrity level seal part 20b this video has of part 20c that will be the last video of this series starting our today's video with the introduction to safety integrity level that is a seal safety integrity level is defined as the relative level of a risk reduction provided by a safety function or to specify a target level of a risk reduction in simple words seal is a measurement of the performance required for a safety instrumented function that is a sif four integrity discrete levels are associated with this seal seal 1 seal 2 seal 3 and seal 4 as the higher level of the seal the higher the associated safety level and the lower probability of a failure on demand the higher seal level the associated safety level and the lower probability that a system will fail to perform properly during the operation similarly the requirement for a given seal are not really the consistent among all of the functional safety standard generally the functional safety standard are based on the iec 61508 standard four seal levels are defined with seal 4 the most dependable and seal 1 is the least dependable the applicable seal is determined based on a number of quantitative factors in combination with a qualitative factors such as a development process and a safety life cycle management similarly seal values are related to pfd and safe failure fraction that is sff the claim seal is limited by the calculated pfd and sff one can see the table where four levels are defined risk reduction factor and the probability of a failure on demand is also defined similarly the levels are started with seal 1 seal 2 seal 3 seal 4 and risk reduction factors are also mentioned there and the probability of the failure demand it starting in the range of minus 10 raised to 1 and accordingly so on the increasing order as the seal level increases typically the installation and the maintenance cost as well as the complexity of the system is also increases specifically for the processes or a process industry seal four system are so complex and costly that they are not economically benefited to the implementation of the any level of this plant safety system moving on to functional safety standards and their implementation considering the installation of a pressure vessel containing flammable liquid it is maintained at the design operating pressure by the bpcs in case or if the process control system fails then the vessel will be subjected to an over pressure condition that could result in a vessel failure a release of the flammable content 
and even fire or explosion if any type of this risk in this scenario is deemed to be intolerable by the facility owner a cess will be implemented to further reduce this risk situation into a tolerable risk level the cess system will be independent from the bpcs system and will act to prevent or mitigate the hazardous condition resulting from the pressure vessel over pressure scenario this cess will have a shift which might include a pressure transmitter which can sense when the intolerable level of the pressure has been reached a logic solver to control the system logic and a solenoid valve which might vent the content of the vessel into the safe location that is a flare stack maybe into the environment or a storage stack etc thus bringing the pressure vessel to a safe state and for that reason this functional safety standards one can refer the picture below where iec 61508 iec 61511 and cisa s84 are shown primarily the functional safety activities allow the international standard that is iec 61508 iec 61511 and cisa s84 standard mainly iec 61 508 that is a functional safety of a electrical electronic programmable electronic safety related systems are covered iec 61511 specific to the process industry and isa 84 applicable of a safety instrumented system for the process industry then the several methods used to assign a cell these are normally used in combination which may include the following that is a risk matrices risk graph layer of protection analysis that is a lopa of this method presented above that is a lopa is by by far the most commonly used by the large industrial facilities and thus the functional safety standard understanding is very important while implementing the cell system or safety complied system for your plant operation certification to safety integrity level iec 61508 group cell requirement into two main broad categories are hardware safety integrity and systematic safety integrity a device or a system must meet the requirement of the both the categories to achieve a given cell level or required as per the operation teams requirement one can refer below the table where the cell ratings are defined cell 1 cell 2 cell 3 cell 4 and the range of average pfd values are also indicated similarly range of risk reduction factors are also defined and probability of a failure on demand is also indicated one can study this table carefully so as to have the understanding on the cell level and their associated risk reduction factor with a failure on a demand that is a pfd of values to achieve a given cell the device must meet the targets for the maximum probability of the dangerous failure and minimum safe failure fraction the concept of dangerous failure must be rigorously defined for the system in the questions or normally in the operation in the form of requirement constraint whose integrity is being verified throughout system development one of the three possible discrete level used to characterize the reliability of a instrument based on the safety as prescribed in isa 84.00.01 the cells are defined in terms of the probability of a failure on demand that is a pfd the pfd is for the various levels are as follows shown in the table the meaning of the pfd 
a value that indicates the probability of the system failing to respond to a demand and the average probability of a system failing to respond to a demand in the specified time interval is referred to as a PFD average and PFD equals 1 minus safety availability. RRF is the risk reduction factor which one can correlate in the table where the each seal level has given their ranges. Now for understanding of a PFD and seal level we have taken the images from internet source where we will cover the PFD and seal levels for respective type of measurement and their model of the instrument. Now one can refer to the left image where low demand where the mode with a low demand rate on a safety system there must not be a demand on the safety system more frequently than once per year. Now one can refer the first part where SIL1 that is a PFD values are given in the range of 10 raised to minus 2 less than equal to PFD or less than 10 raised to power of minus 1. One hazard failure in 10 year. Similarly for SIL2 one hazard failure in 100 year. SIL3 for the PFD given value one hazardous failure in 1000 year. SIL4 for a given PFD range one hazardous failure in 10,000 year. Failure limit for a safety function used in a low demand mode. Similarly for the high demand mode with a high demand rate or continuous demand on the safety system. The safety system works continuously or has a demand more frequently than once per year. Similarly one can refer the table where seal levels are defined and probability of a failure on a high per hour as well as the maximum accepted failure of the SRS is shown. Seal 1 for the given PFH values one hazardous failure in 1 lakh hours. Similarly seal 2 for given PFH one hazardous failure in 10 lakh hours, SIL 3 for given PFH, one hazardous failure in given specified hours, SIL 4 similarly for the given PF values as completes the table where failure limits for a safety function used in high demand mode. This is how the PFD values and their related understanding we have tried to cover. Similarly, for the SIL levels, one can refer to the picture for the right side where the product model SIL level and SSF values as well as the PFD values are also defined. Here we have taken the example for the pressure with their various models, their SIL level and SSF values as well as the PFD. Similarly, differential pressure, temperature, vacuum, large level, small level and flow we have tried to cover. One can study this table for better understanding of the seal level with respect to the measurement with the help of various kind of instruments. For we have seen introduction of the seal levels, understanding of a functional safety standard, certification as well as understanding of the PFD and seal levels. Now we are at the conclusion stage where we are having some example for understanding these examples are taken from the internet for the ready reference. First one can see the left hand side picture where the calculations of a safety related system that is SRS with an SIL2 sensor prevailing values are defined in the table for the sensor controller, actuator and their associated values. Similarly, suitability of the seal level for two controller is a three and PFD actuator is for the seal three. 
Now let us take an example of a one out of one sensor where one unit of a one available unit are required for functioning sensor A SIL 2, controller SIL 3 that is a PLC, actuator SIL 3. PFD system is equals to PFDs plus PFDL plus PFD A. Then the PFD complete system is calculated based on the values, PFD values of the sensor, PFD values of the logic solver that is a controller and the PFD values of the actuator and then the calculated PSD system value is coming 2.3 into 10 raised to power of a minus 3 that is SIL 2. So, by using this component the SRS achieves the PFD for the required SIL level with a given sensors and the prevailing values of this. Similarly, one can see the picture at the right hand side where the calculation of a safety related SRS is exclusively with the SIL 3 components. Similar to this uh, example for the SIL 2 sensor, one can understand accordingly that is the prevailing values for sensor B, controller, actuators are provided and considering the scenario of the one out of one sensor, the values are being calculated and one can see the system values, PFD system values calculated which is coming to the SIL 2 level that is a 1.24 into the 10 raised to power of a minus 3. By using these components, the SRS achieves the PFT for SIL 2 levels only. This example clearly shows that the SRS does not achieve the PFDs for SIL 3 despite the exclusive use of the SIL 3 component. Now, we are to concluding this SIL as this topic is little, it is a critical and we have tried to cover the topic in detail so as to have the understanding but request to all the viewer please read through some articles where one can understand the basic level of the SIL, their study, functional safety standard and necessary implementation. Thanks for watching our channel eFunda. With this, we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows. If you are new to our channel, that is our YouTube channel eFunda, then subscribe to our channel eFunda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. Similarly, you can follow us on our Instagram page. Similarly, you can follow us on our Facebook page as well. And keep watching our channel eFunda for various topics related to engineering and a project. With this, we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic. Keep watching our channel eFunda. Thanks. Watch our channel for new day, new topic.